All right, folks, our government is simply not doing enough with the information that it has. Federal agencies don't always share information with local law enforcement unless there's a joint terrorist task force. And even then, agency competition and all that goes with it hurts the investigations. Laws must be changed. We saw it when the FBI investigated the Boston bombers and were too blind to connect the dots where Homeland Security simply allowed Tamerlan Tsarnaev to fly back and forth to Chechnya. That same FBI interviewed Mateen, the Orlando shooter, three times. Mateen told them that his anti-American comments were simply a response to what he perceived as anti-Muslim comments. He was turning the tables on us folks while basically tapping into our politically correct Islamophobic guilt. Part of the reason for closing his case was that Mateen was a security guard, so he must be okay. Seriously? I've always been a fan of Jim Comey's, you know that. But I couldn't believe it when I heard this one. I don't see anything in reviewing our work that our agents should have done differently. I don't wanna hear there's nothing the FBI could have done differently, especially when you keep telling us there are more terror attacks coming. You just sit back and say, we couldn't stop it, Jim. Come up with some ideas, like matching a no-fly list, a terror watch list, with the purchase of a gun. How tough is that? We don't want to hear this nonsense that to do so might alert a terrorist and harm an investigation. Hell, the FBI visited Mateen three times. You don't think he knew he was being watched? And pray tell, why does the FBI even remove people from a terror watch list? If there's no probable cause to make a criminal case, then don't arrest the guy. But don't use our freedoms as a rationalization to free people up who want to kill us and take them off the list. So you don't have probable cause to charge them with a crime. So that doesn't mean you can't keep them on a watch list based on reasonable suspicion, a lesser standard of proof. Hell, the NSA has got all our metadata and they know everything about the rest of us. Why can't you have a list? And from what I hear, most people who should be off the list can't get off it. And you want to take this guy off yourself? You're not locking him up. You're not convicting them of a crime. You're not jailing them. You're simply stopping them from buying a gun. And what's with this nonsense that words like Sharia and Jihad are scrubbed from the FBI's lexicon and intelligence reports? You guys are so hogtied and so wimped out, you don't have the ability to even think logically anymore. Jim, you're the head of the FBI. It is not impossible. Jim, you are J. Edgar Hoover. You know how to make them pass a law. And if a judge wants to let them fly somewhere, then you know what? Make them pay for a U.S. Marshal to accompany them. Search them, search them, and then search them again. Do a colonic if you have to. And for the rest of us, I've told you this before. I told you this after San Bernardino. Take a look. Get a gun. Buy one legally, learn how to shoot it, and be primed to use it. And I don't care if you get a long gun, a handgun, a revolver, a semi-automatic, get whatever gun you can handle. And don't let anyone talk you out of it. The Second Amendment to the Constitution and the United States Supreme Court confirm your right to have one. I'm telling you this again. Get a gun because this government ain't in a position to help. And that's my open. Tell me what you think on my Facebook page or Twitter, hashtag Judge Janine. Joining me now by phone, former assistant director of the FBI and uh, my friend James Kallstrom. All right, Jim, uh, let's, let's talk about uh, Jim Comey, all right? We're both big fans of him, both work with him, both love him, all right.
Do you want to tell me why Jim Comey was against this uh, 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 allowing them to buy a gun when uh, or, or was in favor of allowing them to buy a gun for fear that it would blow up the investigation? What is he thinking? You know, I don't know. Uh... <laughs> It, uh, it's hard to explain some of this. All I can tell you is that uh, I've been contacted recently by a number of a great number of agents that are working this stuff right now. And they tell me that this uh, politically correct blanket is getting heavier and heavier and heavier, that I wouldn't recognize the Attorney General guidelines anymore, and that really the, the Muslims have been sort of uh, corralled off as uh, special privileges where the FBI really can't go there, can't do things. Okay, let me, let sure me ask you this. the reason that was closed is yeah. uh, th that's what the guidelines probably say. What guidelines? What, let me ask you this, Jim. I keep hearing about people on a terror watch list or the no-fly list. And, Jim, do you know what the difference is? Because I can't figure it out. But just on a prior point, and I'll get to that. The Attorney General guidelines, Judge, th those are really the guidelines that uh, that uh, find their way down to the FBI and, and how the modus operandi and how things work. The, the no-fly list is uh, is a real, real mess. It always was. It was a, a mess when I was in. And uh, there's all kinds of people on there that shouldn't be on there. There's all kinds of people on there with uh, no rationale for being on there. Once you get on there, you can't get off. Uh, you know, there's legend about people having their divorced wives put on there. I mean, all crazy stuff. Uh, about... Teddy Kennedy. Teddy Kennedy was on there. There was... Uh, a two-year-old baby on there, and it's it's a big, big problem. It's a mess, so and then, that's why people don't want to, uh, Jim, you know, have that Jim, as any kind of a barometer. Uh, Jim, so then why would Comey drop this guy from whatever list he was on, uh, and 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 then he comes out and says, well, we we uh, uh, and we don't want to stop them from buying a gun either. And of course, the White House, in typical in the Comey White House. Uh, apparently bad blood, as I sense it, and I've said it before, comes out and says, oh, yeah, uh, we shouldn't allow them to buy a gun. It's no excuse that you've got a terror investigation going on. Well, I don't know. That whole thing sounds crazy to me. And, uh, you know, it's probably the terrorist watch list the FBI maintains that they were taking off of. And I'll guarantee you that's because of this uh, AG guidelines and how these things work. And, okay. I, you know, the agents can't lean forward very much, Janine, and this is this, uh, politically correct world we're in. Well, why would they remove words like Sharia and Jihad? Because they're fixated on this on this issue we just spoke about. They're fixated. And uh, I don't know why. I mean, we've got a fifth column in, in the government. We've got a fifth column in, in the news media. We've got a fifth column on the uh, college campuses, uh, uh, the professors. I mean, uh, we got real problems, Janine. Well, I know we do. And the, the thing that bothers me, Jim, is this whole idea of you've got the no-fly list, then you've got known and suspected terrorists. Uh, uh, and that's a group that's apparently on some terror screening database. And last estimate is 1.1 million people. Oh, I don't, well, I could be wrong, but I don't think that's the terrorist watch list. I think the no-fly list, is, that's, we're probably mixing up the two. The no-fly list is a big, big problem. I think there's a lot more control over the terrorist watch list. All right. So, Jim, what, what should happen now? Is this about terrorism? Is this about guns? Is this about the FBI, you know, not being able to connect the dots? What is going on? It's a combination of all these things. I mean, the Democrats go immediately to guns because they don't want to talk about the things we just talked about. They don't want to talk about radical, fundamentalist, Islamic terrorists. They don't want to talk about that. They don't want to talk about the fact the immigrants are coming to the country. We don't have a clue who any of them are. They don't want to talk about the wide open You know border. what's interesting, Jim? Jim, real fast. You know what's interesting is everybody wants a background check on anyone who wants to buy a gun, but we don't have the ability to do background checks on the Syrian refugees who are coming in. Jim Comey himself says we have no database, we can't do anything, and we can query them till the cows come home. So right. I know. We can't, we can't vet the refugees, yeah. but we have to vet the Americans buying guns. And by the way, my open makes it clear, some of these people should not be able to get guns and i'm a big second amendment person anyway yeah, I, I'm, I agree with you and you know sharia as you well know is is not consistent with our constitution oh of course not jim calstrom thanks so much for being with us all Thank right you, according